in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to keep up. So you might notice that if I move over here, my camera follows me. And if I move over here, my camera follows me. I bought a gimbal because I feel like I need to keep up. I don't want to get behind. That would be the opposite. I want to keep up when it comes to technology. I don't like to spend a lot of money on technology, but sometimes I feel like it's just a good idea. I did have something that did this before my last camera, but it was a little too, um, yeah, it wasn't perfected. This gimbal with my phone, I think works a little better. So it's nice to be able to buy it to keep up. I want to make sure I have some of the latest technology to make English lessons for you. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase for keeps. When you give someone something, if you don't want it back, you've given it to them for keeps. Sometimes kids will lend stuff to each other. That means you want it back. And one of the kids might think that the other kid gave it to him for keeps. That would mean that they thought the other kid gave it to him and they could keep it forever, which is maybe not what the kid meant. We've had this happen when our kids were little before where one kid would give something to another and one, the other one would think it was for keeps, uh, but they were just uh, hoping to get it back. Anyways, to review, to keep up means to uh, be current. Um, if you're running, you try to keep up with the person in front of you, but in life, sometimes it's important to try and keep up as well. And for keeps means permanently. If I was to give you something for keeps, it means that you can keep it forever. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Denis. Bob, when you left your place to shoot the last part of the lesson, did you think about the safety of your breakfast? And I responded by saying, I wasn't too worried. It's a pretty small town and I didn't think anyone would try to grab it. So yeah, in my last lesson, I was sitting uh, in the outside portion uh, of a restaurant. I was sitting kind of on the patio and I left my breakfast to walk way, way, way back and to uh, kind of show you the front of the lesson. So you'll notice I'm trying a couple things out here. I have my wireless mic, which lets me do things like this. Like I can walk over here and point at this bike. Sorry, this is a bit of a technical uh, lesson as well. Um, and I can do things like this, like I can bend down and it will, and I can point at stuff on the ground and I guess if I had something to climb up on, I could do that as well and it would follow me. Uh, I could grab that chair over there and try that. Let me do that. So I ran away so fast it wasn't able to follow me. But here we go. Let's see if this camera works. Let's, ooh, this is not a very safe chair, but I'll try it anyways. Oh yeah, that's pretty wild. So I'm standing here up on this chair and the camera was able to see me. Let me move this ugly chair out of the way. So, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to use this new technology yet or if I'm going to use it a lot. It's not something I normally do. It's like having a cameraman or a camera person. This is new for me. I could walk over here and say, look at these beautiful leaves. So, as I said, I'll have to think about this. I'll have to figure out how do I make a lesson with a camera that can follow me in a way that just makes better lessons for you? And then I'm having trouble. When I stand further away, I tend to talk louder because my old mic was attached to the actual camera. So I had to do that. So anyways, a few things to get used to, but it's nice to be able to buy some things. It's nice to keep up in the world of YouTube and have some new stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.